Outlander star Sam Hugan writes lockdown love letter to Edinburgh Theatre. Outlander star Sam Hugan has penned a heartfelt love letter to an Edinburgh theatre he credits with providing the inspiration for his career and describes it as the beating heart of the city. Hugan was a 12-year-old schoolboy in the city when he started attending free preview performances at the Royal Lyceum after his family moved from Dumfries and Galloway. He later secured work experience in the stage management department, joined the Lyceum's youth theatre group and worked as an usher. Hugan, who has become one of Scotland's best-known actors since he was cast in Outlander in 2013, also secured roles in several productions, including Macbeth, The Shoreman, and Three Sisters. His love letter to the theatre has been published on its official website as part of a lockdown project which will see some of Scotland's best-known cultural figures discuss their connections with the venue. Others include authors Ian Rankin, Val McDermott and Denise Mina, comic Josie Long and playwrights Joe Clifford and Rona Munro. In his letter, Hogan states, Standing in the dark, my back against the exposed brick, my hands by my side, palms against the wall. I'm warmed by your touch, the stone holding your body heat. I breath in the smell of fresh paint and look out into the dim auditorium. Silence. So quiet, you can hear the tick, tick, tick of a bold stage light from the fly floor overhead. The sound of an audience listening sends a shock through my body, like being caressed by a silent lover. You cradle the auditorium in your arms. I am addicted to your embrace. I want you in my life forever and have pursued you ever since." Hugan, who studied at the Rassamd in Glasgow, had his first major stage role at the Traverse Theatre in Outlying Islands during the 2002 Edinburgh Festival Fringe. He would go on to star in the TV shows River City and Doctors before being cast in Outlander. His letter to the Lyceum adds, Thinking of you now, sitting there alone and quiet. I know you're just waiting. Not just for me but for the throng and mass of voices, wet coats and torn tickets. The bell sounding shrill as the laughter and murmur subsides. Passion and warmth filling your empty space. You're the heart of Edinburgh, for me, beating. I can't wait to be taken in by your darkness again, as you comfort us in your embrace. A message from the editor. Thank you for reading this story on our website. While I have your attention. I also have an important request to make of you. With the coronavirus lockdown having a major impact on many of our advertisers, and consequently the revenue we receive, we are more reliant than ever on you taking out a digital subscription. Subscribe to Scotsman.com and enjoy unlimited access to Scottish news and information online and on our app. With a digital subscription, you can read more than five articles, see fewer ads, enjoy faster load times and get access to exclusive newsletters and content. Visit www.scotsman.com web link now to sign up. Our journalism costs money and we rely on advertising, print and digital revenues to help to support them. By supporting us, we are able to support you in providing trusted, fact-checked content for this website. Thank you.